Recently, password seeker is a very popular problem for people who make their password easy for the hacker to figure out or cannot create a valid password for the website you're in. So today, I will show you guys how to create a password seeker system with Python. Let's get into this video. First thing you want to do is to create a simple user interface. You will want to print the star symbol, multiply with 50. This will create our upper border, and then in the middle, we print our title of this program. So, welcome to our password secure test. Now, let's copy the upper border to make our bottom border. Okay, so now we want the program, we have the result like this. Only you want to create four variables, and each name has lowercase has uppercase, has syntax, and has number, and set it all to false because we want it to be a boolean value. Now we want to create four list, each name, number, syntax, uppercase, and lowercase. What this will do is when we loop through the password that your user enter, they will check the, if the, the string is in the number list, in the syntax list, and in the upper and lower case list. I will put all in the description of this video so you don't have to write it all again. So you just need to go to my description, copy and paste it, and put it here. The list we want to create a string input variable named password and password equals string input and let's say we want to type type your password here or enter your password here yeah okay now you need to be careful with your variable name because you can type you can make password variable like pass name pass so it's it's wrong but it's it's same with the python code so then we want to make an if statement if length of the password is greater than or equal to 8 and we have the password now and else we want to print password length is not enough and need at least 8 The if statement, so if the, it's true, then we want to use a for loop, so for i in range length of password. So we want to loop through the password, so we can do this, we need a for loop. But you can also type for i in, in password as well, but I would like to use length more. So if password in the i position is in the lowercase for example lowercase list so you want to firstly you, you need to create a score variable so score equals zero and then if password i is in lowercase we want to increase our score by one so score plus equal to one and you want to repeat the step to uppercase and others so if password in the i position in uppercase we want to increase the score by one Let's do the same thing to our number and syntax. In number, we want to increase our score by 1. And also for our syntax. So if we run the program, let's say we enter our password. Wait, oh, we forgot to print our score. Up. So out of the for loop, we print our score. So let's see. Okay, so enter your password. For example, if I enter 1 to 8, it will to have an answer of 8 but we want to make it out of 4 because there's 4, four things that need to be in the password so let's say your score is comma score and another comma out of 4 out of 4 ok let's run the program again so again 1 to 8 let's see 
so they say that your score is 8 and 4, which is not what we wanted because we want that they want to just increase our score by once. So now the boolean variable can come handy. So if password uh, in lowercase, we want to make another if statement. So if pass lowercase equal false, then we want to increase our score by once. So before they don't know that there's a lowercase in the password, so we can increase the score and then we want to change pass lowercase to true. And we want to repeat the step to others. So what this will do is it will just increase the score by once when it exceeds the lowercase. So let's repeat the step. So if pass uppercase equal false, we want to increase our score by one. And has uppercase is equal to true. Now I will just quickly skip through the step. We done all those if statement. Let's run the program again. So again, one, two, eight. So they say that your score is one out of four. Now let's try a different one. So f five. Let's say one a, two b, two b, three, four, five, six. They say that your score is 2 out of 4 because we have number and a lowercase. So now we want to the user to know that what they're missing. So let's say if we say if has a lowercase equal false, then we want to print your password in some lowercase. And we want to repeat the step to others. So if has uppercase equal true, then the password needs some uppercase. And also for number and syntax. Okay, so now let's run the program again. So enter your password. Let's say one, one, two, eight again. And let's see what they say. So your password is one out of four. Your password is some lowercase. Your password is some uppercase, and your password is some syntax, which is perfect. That's what we want. Now let's change a little bit. So let's say one, two, three, A B, with a capital B, and four, five, six. I like got. And your password is four, 3 out of 4, and your password needs some syntax. That's exactly what we want. So this is the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And in the next video, we will create a password generator with Python. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.